Right, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen the headline. Here it is. Vigo Mortensen rumoured for Doctor Doom in the MCU. Now, I thought this was interesting because I I saw this headline and I thought to myself, I, I distinctly remember Vigo Mortensen being very against superheroes. So, I've pulled up actually the article that I remember reading near, near on five years ago now which explained his reasoning behind not going with superhero movies. Um, so this is all a rumour at the moment, and unless he's had a massive change of heart, I would say it's firmly, absolutely, just a rumour and probably unlikely. Although I will say, he would be awesome. He would be inspired casting. Uh, Vigo Mortensen is an incredible actor. Most people who are not, massive film buffs or anything like that would probably just remember him from Lord of the Rings but the guy is a stellar actor and he's done so much more so so very much more and much much better roles with I guess a range of display even though uh, Aragorn in Lord of the Rings was you know exceptional anyway so let's get into it and see what the claim is and then we'll we'll go back to five years ago we'll jump in a time machine and go see what he did say uh, and kind of well, I guess just affirm as to why I think this is probably unlikely. So it's being claimed that Viggo Mortensen, known for Lord of the Rings, is being eyed to play Doctor Doom in the MCU. Now, the rumour has it that Doctor Doom will be one of two major villains coming to the MCU, with the second being Galactus. Galactus has been long, long rumoured. He would be an awesome villain to have in the MCU. I guess as well, if you're doing, like, tier villains, right? You go Doctor Doom... Galactus. It's good to have something that you build towards. Um, I would say that's probably why the Avengers uh, Infinity War saga on screen anyway has kind of worked the way it has so well is because we've had something which we're growing towards the big penultimate villain of uh, Thanos. Now previous rumours also offered the Doctor Doom would be a big part of Avengers type Secret Wars movie with Doom said to be taking over Europe which is similar to the Marvel Comics event from 2015. Now obviously with Doctor Doom headed to the MCU that would mean the Fantastic Four aren't far behind. Kevin Feige did name drop the Fantastic Four at the recent San Diego Comic Con but he teased that he didn't have enough time to talk about them. Now, Doctor Doom coming to the MCU, with Galactus approaching, that would also mean the Silver Surfer is riding alongside. Rumours have also offered an Annihilation movie is being developed at Marvel. So Fox Studios, obviously, uh, they well, they were actually uh, developing a Doctor Doom movie by Noah Hawley, but Hawley recently said it's basically dead and that he would need to pitch it again to Marvel. So regarding Viggo Mortensen in the role as Victor Von Doom, that would definitely be stellar casting, as I said. I mean, Viggo Mortensen is great. Uh, Viggo Mortensen has been on Marvel's radar for years, as it was also said Viggo Mortensen was up for the role of Doctor Strange at one time. Um, and then obviously Benedict Cumberbatch is, you know, a good Doctor Strange, etc, etc. He would make a great Doctor Doom, but like I say, we go back a few years. This is an article with uh, The Vulture, Viggo Mortensen on getting lost and saying no to superheroes. So this is... You know, people obviously have the right to change their mind. Undoubtedly, they do. Um, but it, I just find it interesting. So as we uh, as we as we plod along, he starts to get into it um, with respect to why he's not come on to the superhero radar. And like I say, of course, you can have, um, you know, you can have a change of heart, and you can change your direction but he doesn't strike me as the type of person that would want to sign on to multiple picture deal again which is why Joaquin Phoenix because he was up for the role of Doctor Strange that's why he never joined because uh, he doesn't like being roped in to uh, to you know to any, any picture deals now you've made a lot of smaller movies since Lord of the Rings raised your profile do you turn down superhero movies here you go I was offered some, but unable to do them. Sometimes I was busy doing something else, and even if it's a little tiny movie, I kind of stay with it no matter what comes along. It takes me a while to commit to something, but once I do, I'm there, and I'm not going to get swayed by money or anything. But I have been offered a couple of things. Here we go. The Last Superman was one of them. 
interesting. I wonder what he would have been playing in that. Snow White and the Huntsman was another. Um, I would imagine probably the Huntsman. And then I remember just before Lord of the Rings playing Wolverine in the first X-Men movie was a real possibility. My God, can you imagine how it would have turned out uh, with Vigo in there? What a! It's interesting when you have these people in mind, uh, in your head, as absolute the casting. And then, you know, we, we then learn that other people could be in there as well. It's difficult to picture, I always say. Now, uh, but he obviously says, but I couldn't do that either. So I'm not against it. But some of these things are pretty interesting, you know. So he's not he's not out and out against it. Um, I guess I could probably uh, change my 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 initial opening there a little bit. But he's there's always been a reason why he's not done it. And for a man that yes, he does lots of small movies, he's still been very particular in choosing one because he's had time. He's not been doing movies consistently year on year out. So although he's being what I would say is kind of like political, but what well, politically correct being professional here by saying he's not out and out against it. I would say that there's not been a role that has captured him. And he does say very specifically here that it takes him a long time to commit to something. But once he does, he's there. He's had time to do them. If Marvel have had him on the radar, because again, he has had time to do it. He's not really been offered anything that interesting. And since Lord of the Rings, I'm fairly certain as far as I can, you know, as far as I'm aware, that he's not done anything of multi-picture deals. So, again, he's not out and out against it, but there's nothing that has struck him as something, I guess, worth his time, maybe? I don't want to say that, because obviously that's, you know, potentially leading too much into it and will make him come across a bit of a dick. But, you know, if he struggles to commit to things, he would obviously want a certain role. So it's not, you know, worth his time, so to speak. But, you know, Viggo Mortensen for Victor Von Doom, I would say that that's inspired casting. I would say that that is epic, epic casting. But I would say this, would he bounce off of one another in, you know, with the other characters of the MCU in the way that the tone of the universe uh, calls for? I'm not overly sure that is uh, something which can happen. Viggo Mortensen is a very, very serious actor. He is, um, you know, he immerses himself in the roles, much in the same way um, Jared Leto does, for instance. Um, and Marvel movies do call for somewhat of a light-hearted tone. Somewhat. Unless they're looking to change the direction, then I could see Viggo Mortensen in the role of Victor Von Doom. Victor Von Doom is obviously a very serious role anyway. Um... And I guess if he's being pegged as this all out and out villain, would it work? Yeah, it absolutely could. Uh, and I guess he wouldn't really need to bring any comedic timing to the roles. Because it's a lot of the other characters are what bring the levity to the Marvel Universe. It's not so much the villains. But I don't know. I think Viggo Mortensen is a great inspired casting choice. He would only serve to elevate the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's something which would make me jump back on board. Viggo Mortensen in the role of Doctor Doom is something which would make me want to jump back on the uh, the Marvel movie bandwagon. Outside of that, I I don't think I would care too much. Um, you know, I'm I'm I was done with it really after Endgame. I was happy to wrap it up there and say that was the end, um, and just be like, yeah, okay, I'm I'm good now with this. But with Viggo Mortensen back on, if he's if he is indeed on board. I would be really, really happy. And I think a lot of people would also be intrigued as well. So anyway, I don't think this is true. Mainly because he has had the opportunity a lot in the past to do superhero movies. And he has turned them all down. Now, again, even from his own words, it's due to time and things like that. But he has had the time. So I don't think this is true. But I would want it to be true. Because I think it's epic. I think that's awesome casting. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think of Vigo as an actor? What do you think of him as Victor Von Doom? Let me know down below. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Also, if you like what I am doing here, then you can consider supporting the channel just a little bit further. I've got Patreon down below, but also got some awesome new merch underneath every single video. The Joker-inspired line, the joke's on you. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.